Question 16. Test 7 on compound angle formula. So here prove that 1 plus tan of x by 2 divided by 1 minus tan of x by 2 equals to secant x plus tan x. So try to do this question. Maybe a bit lengthy. Okay, and then you can review your double angle formulas also to solve this. Here is my solution. So let me start with the double angle formula for those who are not very conversant with it. You know, cos 2x can be written as, let's write cos 2x can be written as 2 cos square x minus 1, right? So from here we get half angle formulas actually. I'll show you how. So we can take 1 on this side and we say 1 plus cos 2x equals to 2 cos square x and then we can divide by 2, right? We can divide this by 2 and then we square root it. Then we get what cos x is. So we get what cos x is. We say cos x is square root of 1 plus cos 2x over 2. And similarly, we can derive the formula for sin x. And sin x is actually 1 minus 2 sin square x, right? And then when you rearrange it, you get sine x as 1 minus cos 2x over 2. Now sine x divided by cos x gives you tan x, right? So then you get tan x equals to square root of 1 minus cos 2x over 1 plus cos 2x. So I just wrote down these formulas just as a recap for those who really don't remember these formulas and who are getting lost over this question. Now one more thing which I want to show here is let us say 2x is x, okay? Let's say 2x is theta, then this x becomes theta over 2, right? So so what I'm trying to say here here is that now 1 plus tan x by 2. So I can write tan x by 2 using this ratio of 1 minus cos 2x and 1 plus cos 2x, correct? That's what I'm trying to say. So, so I'll use it here, right? So I can write now my numerator as 1 plus, so tan x by 2. I'm using this formula, right? So instead of x, I'm writing x by 2. So instead of cos 2x, that becomes cos of x, correct? So it becomes square root of 1 minus cos x. Do you see that? x by 2, right? So I'm writing this as square root of 1 minus cos x divided by 1 plus cos x. So that's the numerator. And similarly in the denominator, I have 1 minus square root of 1 minus cos x divided by 1 plus cos x. Well, these are standard formulas which can be directly applied. Okay, so so that's what we get. Now, now what we can do here is we can multiply both numerator and denominator by square root of one plus cos x. Then what do we get? We get square root of one plus cos x plus square root of one minus cos x divided by. Here we get square root of 1 plus cos x minus square root of 1 minus cos x, correct? So in this step, what we did was, or you can say take 1 plus cos x square root common, but it's better to say multiply both sides, numerator and denominator, by 1 plus cos x, right? So 1 times 1 plus cos x is this, and here that cancels out, and this is what you get. The next step what we'll do is we'll rationalize this. So once we rationalize it, see, that means we are multiplying the whole thing by square root of 1 plus cos x minus square root of 1 minus cos x what? square root of 1 plus cos x plus this quantity. Okay, so let's do that. So what do we get? We get 1 plus cos x plus 1 minus cos x over square root of 1 plus cos x minus square root of 1 minus cos x. So I'm rationalizing it, right? So rationalizing it means that I will multiply 
by both by 1 plus cos x plus square root of 1 minus cos x. Do you see that? So we just did this for both. So when you do that, here it becomes a square minus b square and the numerator it becomes this thing whole square, correct? So we get in the denominator, we get 1 plus cos x a square, which is this, minus of 1 minus cos x, correct? And in the numerator, you get square of, because it's the same term, right? So we get square of 1 plus cos x plus 1 minus cos x square. So that's what you get in the numerator. Now we'll expand the numerator. So when your numerator is expanded, you get a square plus 2ab plus b square, right? So let's do that. So, so we get a square, which is 1 plus cos x. We get 1 plus cos x plus 2 times square root of 1 plus cos x times square root of 1 minus cos x plus b square, which is 1 minus cos x. Is that okay? Divided by all this. So when you add this, 1 minus 1 is 0 and cos x plus of cos x is 2 cos x. So you get 2 cos x here. So that's what you get, right? So let me write equal to. Okay. Now 1 plus 1 is 2 and then cos x and cos x cancels out. So you get 2 there and let me write here 2 and then cos x minus cos x is 0 and then 2 times a plus b times a minus b, we get plus 2 times square root of 1 minus cos square x divided by 2 cos x. Do you see that? Now here we can take 2 common and then we get 1 plus and 1 minus cos square x is sine square x, right? Divided by 2 cos x. Now 2 and 2 cancels out. So we get 1 over cos x. 1 over cos x is secant x. Do you see that? Let me write here first. 1 over cos x plus sine square x square root is sine x, right? Sine x over cos x, correct? Now 1 over cos x secant x and sine x over cos x is tan x. So you proved it, right? So this is equals to secant x plus tan x. That is the right side. So we proved that left side is equal to right side. Okay, so let me just sh show this here. This was kind of a recap on how to apply the half angle formula, right? So we just replaced x with x by 2 and applied this formula here and expanded. Rationalization helped us to simplify it further. Whenever there are square roots, it's always better to do rationalization. That is the way to solve it, okay? I hope you understand it. Thank you.